Welcome to Mile High Living. I'm Sam Boyd. Thanks for joining us today. We have an amazing show for you. Now, the first weekend of November, the Aurora Highlands will transform into a luminous wonderland, offering a spellbinding experience as the Aurora Borealis Festival brings the enchanting magic of the Northern Lights to Colorado's Front Range. And I'm very happy to welcome back to the show Randy from Visit Aurora. It's wonderful to have you, and I can't wait to talk more about this festival. Um, you know, Visit Aurora, you guys are the destination marketing organization for the city of Aurora. And what was sort of the behind the scenes and the creation of this particular festival? We actually have been three years in the making so far. So okay. the history has deep roots in our strategic plan, which was developed in 2019 um, under the guidance of our board of directors. And they gave us the challenge of creating a cultural and inspirational tourism hub here in Aurora. So we took that task. Um, we went out and did some global research on what would inspire and also be resonant with the essence of Aurora. And we came up with no better than the Aurora Borealis Festival. So taking after the namesake, we also are celebrating the cultures and different forms of light to show off um, how Aurora can shine on a global stage. So fantastic. And what do you guys hope is the impact on the community in Aurora because of this festival? So really another part of this is driving the economic engine for the community through our sponsors who are coming in and joining, um, bring investment to the city. We know that a great place to work is a great place to live, is a great place to visit. And so the residents really benefit by not having to leave and go downtown in order to get great entertainment. Great. Well, let's talk about this super cool Aurora Borealis like visual aspect to this event and kind of what all goes into that. This is something I'm really excited about. We, like I said, did our research across the globe and we didn't find a ton of examples. And after going through um, our vetting process, we considered you know, doing LED lights and drones and we went through multiple iterations and the solution was right in our backyard. So we're working with our partner, Eddie Sound, to recreate the Aurora Borealis Festival over the entire festival grounds. How this will be done is we're using a water-based haze and that will be uh, reflected with nine different LED lasers and that will create the rippling effect of the Borealis. How cool. And is this lighting feature like safe for all festival goers? Absolutely. This is something that was really top of mind for us that it is safe for everyone to attend. So the water-based haze is, you know, essentially a cloud maker in the sky that is allowing us to have the effect with the lighting. Cool. And it sounds like so many fun activities. What are some of the must-see attractions for families that attend the festival? A must-see is definitely our Architects of Air exhibit. So mm -hmm. the best way that I can describe this is an inflatable wonderland with caves and tunnels that, um, as you walk through it, uses natural light during the day to cast color over the environment. You're guided through the experience with a variety of different sounds. And then we'll also be hosting a vinyasa yoga Saturday and Sunday morning from 11 a.m. So if you would like a unique ex experience, check that out on our website. Yeah, it looks like silent disco and all kinds of fun stuff too. Um, now let's talk about ticket reservations, parking options, VIP experiences. What are the things that people need to know? What you need to know about the festival it is it free to attend. Okay. We do strongly encourage reservations um, because we are capping it at 5,000 people per day. This is to ensure that there is enough space and to limit overcrowding as well as lines. There will not be free parking on site. Um, we wanna be respectful to the neighbors that we're not taking over their neighborhood. We have our own parking. So if you reserve it in advance, it's $10 and the same day parking will be 20. So there's definitely incentive to book early and make sure you get in. Great, and just a little bit of time left. Uh, can you talk to us more about the food that'll be highlighted and some of the artists like in the community as well? This is central to the festival. We know that Aurora is known for great food and it was a mission of ours to showcase all the different culinary options in Aurora. So we have gotten things from across the globe with ramen, we have spicy food, we have um, different drinks that you can purchase. So this is gonna be a great option to suit any palate. Great, and some kind of arts or uh, maybe like a bazaar of sorts. Yes, yeah. so if you are um, shopping early this holiday season, we have a global gift bazaar, which will feature over 20 different local vendors. So it's a great place for a souvenir or gift. So wonderful. I love all of the video and the pictures of what's to come. Thank you, Randy, for telling us all about this wonderful event. Thanks, Sam. Yes, and experience the magic of the Northern Lights at Aurora's Aurora Borealis Festival, all happening November 1st through the 3rd 
at the Aurora Highlands Winged Melody Park. Now space is limited, so reserve your tickets today at auroraborealisfestival.com. They paid for this segment. Stay with us. We'll be right back.